Yeah, we fired Rob, so... Fuck Rob. Yo, we just took some pics for the, um... No, no, not the no, that It does not belong on the floor. I have all this heat. Sorry, my bad. Um, but basically, we just took the pics for the new Strawberry Park drop. Guys, April 7th, make sure you get the drop. We're gonna have all this stuff on there. Some more things like hats and shirts. We're very excited for this drop. As you can see, we're putting a lot of work into making this possible. Keep in mind, it's just us running, like, all of this. And we're just having fun. Going along the journey, get the drop, because honestly, this stuff is pretty hard. Ah, damn, I just feel so cozy in my Strawberry Park fit. Ooh. I got the matching all around print hoodie and shorts we do it different over here at strawberry park that's all i'm saying april 7th mark the date you don't want to miss this and guys the first 500 orders from this drop will be shipped within 24 hours if you want your clothes asap you better be on the website early speaking of early if you want to know exactly when it drops go to the website right now and put your phone number in and you'll get a text as soon as the drop goes live that way if you wake up late you'll be notified right away we'll text you an hour before the drop 30 minutes right when it drops so you don't want to miss this and if you're not a part of the first 500 orders that were purchased then everything else will be shipped within three to six weeks. April 7th, 3 p.m. PST. Super excited for you guys. We got a lot of cool stuff coming. Go to the website, find something you like, and browse the whole collection. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, guys. Welcome back. Alex is here. Alex edits the videos on SP. He's now in front of the camera giving us his A1 opinions on world topics. Hey. Yeah, we fired Rob, so Alex um, kind of replaced So him. Rob gone, he's gone. Sorry, sorry. Just wasn't feeling it. Fuck Rob. <laughs> so we have a very easy topic for you to cover today. The title of this is I'm non-binary and bearded. How will my blind date go? Yeah, that's a really easy topic. I think we can handle <clears throat> that pretty quickly. So let's get straight to it. Trying to learn something. Today I'm going on my first blind date. Dating can be really difficult when you're non-binary and a bearded woman. Non-binary and bearded woman. The response I got from dating apps was not good. I got told I was disgusting a lot, so I'm feeling a mixture of nervous and excited. But I feel confident about my date seeing my beard. It's not something that makes me feel self-conscious anymore. Hey. I am going for kind of a semi-goth look. I have this nice black dress. It has pop. Dress? Uh, semi-goth look. Semi-goth. That's what, yeah. yeah. Cool look. Not full on gothic, just semi. semi. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I have this sweater that I really like. My foundation, some nice simple black eyeliner, and some sparkly red lipstick. I am a doll enthusiast. I enjoy collecting them. I get a lot of my makeup looks actually from my dolls. My name is Clyde. I'm 28 years old and I live in Omaha, Nebraska. Today I'm going on my first blind date. Dating can be really difficult when you're non-binary and a bearded woman at the same time. I'm not what people expect to see on the dating apps, so I get a lot of, oh, you're disgusting, and because of that, I've actually deleted all of the dating apps, so I'm feeling a mixture of nervous and excited. My ideal date is going to the board game library and just having a good time nerding out together. Um, I'm a little bit nervous because I've never been on a blind date before, but I'm excited. I'm hoping that, you know, we hit it off and they're a cool person. Y'all been on a blind date before? No, I no, never. No, I usually knew who I was going to see. Yeah, yeah, um, me, same here. Fuck with the board game thing. Yeah. I've never done that on the first date. Yeah, either. For, yeah. yeah. It's exciting. It should be cool. Exciting. Yeah. Monopoly and shit. Yeah. So how did they meet? The show might have set it up or something. Or, or could be. Oh, could be fake. Or could be. Yeah. You never know. See how it goes. I guess. Yeah. Hey. Hi. Likewise. I'm Eli. I'm Clyde with a K. Hi, Clyde. I like your makeup. Thank you. Lately, I have a lot of guys come to me through Facebook and occasionally some women. I'm pretty thoroughly bisexual. I've 
a little I'm bisexual, bisexual yeah. non-binary, bearded woman, bisexual. Yeah, so that's um, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, Facebook. I didn't think about yeah, that. Yeah, Facebook. Because Facebook. Yeah. You probably get some dates. I haven't had a Facebook in a while. Yeah, I need to get. I need to make a new one. Yeah, I took. I deleted off. I'm off Facebook. Mm. Uh, I never. I haven't used that in a long time. It's called friend. Meta now, isn't it? Oh it's yeah. Not even called Facebook. It's not Facebook no more. Metaverse. Metaverse. Yeah. yeah. I'm a little bit nervous. My hands are a little sweaty, but I'm so good. are mine. Really? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do for fun? I play lots of tabletop games. I just recently joined a D and D group on mm. Sundays. Oh, very cool. My character is a 75 year old woman who says stuff like that boy ain't right. <laughs> I love that, that's great. I haven't. Let me grab a thing of water real quick. Yeah, yeah. you got yeah. Just grab a little water real quick. Let's give it a few seconds. You can keep playing. Okay, yeah. Are you good to? Yeah, I'm good. Cool. Have you played D&D before? Not ever. Dungeon and Dragons, I think. Yeah, no. Looks fun though. I wonder if they're gonna play that. Yeah, maybe. It'd be a great date. I haven't played board games in a while. I play a lot of video games though. Nothing crazy. I don't like shooting games. Yeah. I like war games. Like, no thank you. I already have anxiety. I don't need it anymore. I've right. got some at home. <laughs> yeah. Got your water? Got it. I was thirsty. Have you played D&D before? I don't know what that is. Uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Mm -hmm. yeah. And like, what about war video games? Like, like COD and shit? Like war, yeah. uh, I've never played video games before. Uh -huh. That's what they're talking about. You got a ginger ale? Yep. Thank you. I was just gonna say cheers to first blind date. <laughs> Amen to that. There we go. Cheers. Cheers. My first impression is I like that I can laugh with this person. They got like better audio. <laughs> I think they mic'd it wrong. Yeah. The mic is just like. The audio's a bit off. Yeah, mm -hmm. I don't know. Weird. Eli seems pretty chill. They seem pretty honest and upfront about things. Welcome back. Thank you. I like somebody that likes to go on adventures with me. I like to travel. I like to hike. I've actually been trying to persuade friends of mine to go on road trips for years. Really? But I'm such a nervous passenger, nobody's taken me yet. <laughs> no takers. Not yet. Not yet. It could happen. Do you ever like go on hikes or anything? I used to. I have fibromyalgia and some balance problems, so. Mm -hmm. But a walk through town could probably be done if done carefully. I do feel like the disability has impacted my dating life in that people don't always view me as a viable partner or they'll think, oh, I can't have sex with this person and I'm just sitting here like, really? I think red flags for me, like I, I pay attention to how people- I use the bathroom real quick. Young keep, yeah, young keep right. Okay. Fibromyalgia. Yeah. Fuck. I pay attention to how people treat like wait staff or like animals. If I think that they're not treating um, animals well, then I'm out. <laughs> yeah. I get a lot of people who fetishize my beard. Really? I was 21. That was around the time I originally identified as FTM, female to male, and I started testosterone. And so my facial hair started to grow in then. Over time, I realized that my gender is more complicated than that. So now I identify as a non-binary bearded woman. I would say my confidence grew as my beard grew. Being a bearded woman is just like dating anybody else. There just happens to be a beard there. Cool. Um, I gotta go make a call real quick. Yeah, uh, um, cool. Uh, uh, that was, uh, you guys can do the outro if you want. Yeah, we'll do the outro. Um, thank you uh, for watching. Yeah, thanks. And, um, yeah, uh, we're gonna grab lunch right now. Yeah, then we're gonna go do that. So uh, make sure I subscribe. And we're out of here. It's gonna be fun to edit that one. Yep.